really fun. So uh, I'm going to add a link in this video, but then I'm going to just start the first process, which is um, titling the uh, video, which I call it interactive content video demonstration. You can give it any name that you want, but I just, this is the purpose of the video. So that's what I'm going to call it. And then I want to make sure I've selected the right content type. And so I want to make sure I've selected interactive video. And then the next option is I'll give me a, a option uh, to add a video, a maximum of video size of 16 megabits. And so here, this is where everyone is different. You can have the choice of either uploading the video directly from your computer here, or you can, if you've already uploaded it into YouTube, but it's a private video, you can paste the link here. And for the purpose of this demonstration, I'm going to paste the link here because uh, based on my uh, computer and uh, the processing speed is just much faster for me to paste the YouTube link rather than upload it and wait for it to process. So I've inserted the link here and then I'll click insert. And so now uh, it has my video. And then I'm gonna take, uh, follow the next step and add the interactions. And this is where I wanna think about how I want uh, my student to interact with this video. So I can uh, do something like text and like create a uh, like a caption in the first 10 seconds and say, um, this is um, all about tea. And then I'm gonna say, uh, learn about the history of tea. And this is just for uh, purposes of demonstration. You can choose however you want. Um, I'm just gonna add the button as a way to sort of highlight in the first 10 seconds uh, what this video is about. Uh, because sometimes when a student is watching a video, uh, they hear it well, but they also need to see it. So having that added element of engagement really um, taps into just not just the right brain, but it also taps into the left brain. So now that's done and you can, I'm um, going to click on done and see here it's created a little button and then I can do different things like add a link and say, you know, this is a link to my uh, T history website and I can just put a website google.com just for this purposes of this demonstration. And if I'd like, I can continue to mess around and play around with the background. And if I like, I can either check, uncheck this box of a shadow or I can uh, select different options. And so let's just have some fun and choose red. And the idea is just we're having fun and we're just thinking about um, how this looks like. And then I can move my button into different ways to think about what is best for the student. How will they interact and how will they like to learn more? And I want to just think about the positioning as a way for what is best on the students' visual because we want them to focus on the video, but we also want them uh, not to get too sidetracked and uh, get connected to more resources and more information on this. And so that's just uh, some options. And then I can uh, take advantage of other options and features within this tool and add a drag and drop where I can then add another pause after the first 10 seconds and say at the uh, 11 minute, uh, 11 second mark to the 15 second mark, I want to add a poster. And so here I'm going to say more about the history.